What's going on guys? So first of all, what do you guys think of the new intro? Just thought I felt, you know, it needed a bit more of a, a change. I've had that same intro for about a year now and I thought, you know what, you know, we are moving into a bit more of a new phase of thought. New phase, new intro, 2019. Um, you know, I, do, I feel like this channel is no longer about the the how to start a social media marketing agency, although the content will be about that, will be about the agency, but now, uh, you know, with me documenting my journey, it's no longer about getting the first client, um, you know, building the agency, you know, it's it's there, the foundation's there, we're a six-figure agency, and now obviously we want to scale it, we want to automate it, we don't want it to be bigger, better, and eventually be like a household name. So, I don't know, just felt like a change, felt like something new. I've noticed with my content as well, I haven't been as motivated to post like two, two three times a week. You know, I've been with the one a week, uh, like one video a week for um, ever since the start of January, I think. So just to, you know, feel a bit more fresh about the, the videos and stuff like that, give me motivation to create more content. I thought, you know what, let's just create a new intro. And obviously at the end, there's like a new little outro as well, which um, if you watched like the end of the last, what is it, two videos, you will have already seen. Anyway, back to like the main point of this video. Um, with Brandpreneur, my social media marketing agency, we've actually been focusing a lot more on e-commerce clients. Like we've sort of narrowed down now to uh, the e-commerce niche. So rather than just taking on any client that will throw money at us, uh, we've actually started to uh, turn away clients that aren't exactly e-commerce or on like online web shops and stuff like that. And um, also quick side note, I have got a cold. So um, if my voice sounds weird or if I cough like midway through this video, then you know, you know why. <coughs> anyway, so uh, like I said, guys, you know, e-commerce niche um, is now what we're focusing on. You know, we get amazing results for our e-commerce clients we thought you know what why just not focus on our strengths you know we say it all the time why not practice what you preach focus on our strengths and only focus on e-commerce type businesses because we know we can get them results and also if a new client comes in now we can literally just copy and paste that success formula we don't need to try and figure out what the niche is figure out you know new ways of doing ads and stuff like that no it's just the same ads we always run it's a bit more boring it's a bit more repetitive but we know we can get results we know we can aim these clients money and in return you know we do also get nice retainers back okay but how would you actually find e-commerce clients you know it's not like there's this like database uh you know where you can see all the uh, the the e-commerce or online web shops what is there Let's find out. All right, so there's two ways we actually, uh, you know, two methods we use to get in touch with e-commerce businesses. And I do have to mention that it is a numbers game. So for every like 20 businesses we reach out to, we'll get like one or two replies. Um, that is like a positive reply in terms of like, you know, we want to get on a call or anything like that. Um, the way we have been doing it, I've noticed that there are a lot of businesses replying, you know, saying, you know, is there anything we can help you with, anything like that. Um, I'll get into the whole script and all that in a minute. In a minute. Uh, so there's a lot of replies I've noticed by doing it this way because I think it's quite a unique way of doing it. But with that said, you know, it does take a while. It, you know, it does take a lot of um, reaching out for a company to actually go through with, um, you know, getting on a call and having a meeting and stuff like that. Okay, so without, without further ado, let's uh, hop into it. So the first website, um, the database, like I said, uh, I've been using is this link. I'm not going to uh, spell it out. I'll probably just leave the link in the description box down below. And basically, it's... Um, it's got all like the IP addresses, so you can actually uh, search for businesses that use Shopify as their like hosting a uh, company. Why Shopify? Because obviously, you know, Shopify is like an online web shop. Um, you know, you can use that to build your online web shop. Sorry. Um, so everyone that uses Shopify is you know automatically an online web shop. Now, if you go onto the website, the first thing you notice is that my Shopify and uh, Gymshark, you know, there's a lot of very, very big businesses on the first page. So we will not be looking at the first page because chances are they've got an entire team working, you know, on this social media and there's not much uh, value that we can provide for them. But with that said, um, if you type in a thousand visitors a day, you'll know that they're getting a good amount of traffic. They'll probably be getting sales as well. Um, you know, it's probably, it's quite a built up, um, they've got like quite a built up reputation. But, you know, there is a very big chance that we can still provide a lot of value for them. So, visitors per day, 
roughly a thousand you know it's up to you you can do two thousand three thousand five hundred whatever just test and see what works for you um search make sure the ip honest stay on shopify sometimes if you filter it'll go on like default or you get all like all these other things uh, make sure it's on shopify and I'm from here guys it's literally just open as many tabs as you possibly can and see what you can do for them so um let me just quickly open a few of them up in fact let's go on to page 20 or something like that just to go a bit smaller Oh, why has it gone back? Let me check. 9, 13, 17, 21. That'll do. All right, and then from here, it's literally just open every single one up in a new tab. And now, what I like to look for uh, when opening all these tabs... Ah, oh, hang on. Does this work? Can I open these in new tabs? No. Okay, so we'll have to do it one by one. Ah, oh, that was it. Okay, so open all these up in new tabs. And now what I like to look for when opening all these uh, business up in new tabs is, first of all, have they got a Facebook pixel? If they haven't, then obviously that is an automatic red light for me. You know, I, I try and get in touch with them as soon as possible. If they have got a Facebook pixel, then I look for, okay, is there Facebook on the website? If it is, I click on that. And um, let me just show you what I usually do. So this company has not got Facebook pixel installed. So for me, that is automatic red light. I need to get in touch with this company because they are losing out. So you can install a plugin called Rocket Reach. It doesn't always work, but if it does, it will find like the LinkedIn and email addresses of the people that are working for this company. Okay, so for now, there is no like Rocket Reach information. So there's not much we can do there. Uh, let me see if they've got a Facebook page. By the way, guys, I'm going to try and do all this in one take. So if I do make mistakes, um, apologies in advance. Have they got a Facebook page? All right, so I can't actually find the Facebook page. Let me just try it manually. Open a new tab. Right, that didn't work. Open a new tab. Facebook. Madmonk T. There we go. 4,100 people like this. Okay, so what I can do now is I can message this um, Facebook page and explain that they haven't got the Facebook pixel. But what I've noticed is if you go in like full value mode and start explaining everything you know, you won't get a reply or you'll get a, a thank you and that is about it. You need to try and pique their interest. So like I said, guys, they have not got the Facebook pixel installed. If they have and you, you know, you're still interested in seeing if you can provide any value for them, you can go onto the left-hand side, go onto info and ads and see what type of ads they are running. Now, these are not running any type of ads at all. So you can help them because, you know, any type of ad that you run for them is going to be better than no ads at all. So, you know, you can definitely help this company. And what I like to do is I just like to send them a standard message. Um, I split test all my messages and this is like the third one. Um, this has been a message that I get quite a lot of responses on. Next week, I'll probably change it up, see if, you know, see what the difference is. But like I said, guys, split test everything. Like, so before this, I've had two different types of messages, completely different way of uh, getting in touch with companies. And I just say, you know, does it work? If it does, I use it or I tweak it a bit more. If it doesn't, then, you know, I, I retype the message and see if that does work. So for me, this message has been working quite a lot lately. Um, just, you know, sorry to trouble you guys. Would you be so kind to tell me who is responsible for the management of your social media and how I might get in touch with them? Thank you. So that is very vague. I'm not giving anything away. And this sounds more like a complaint than, you know, me trying to sell my service or anything like that. So more often than not, they'll think that I am a complaining customer or something like that. And they'll say, oh, uh, you know, is there anything I can help you with? Or they'll say, you know, please get in touch with such and such a person. Okay. And then 
regardless of what they reply obviously if they refer you on to someone then you reply to that person you say to them you know are you the the social media manager for this company you know if so then you know you can reply to that but um regardless of what they say do not reply to the message in text send them a loom which is a video message and just just say like um i always start with a little joke i say listen you know i know how boring it is to read all these messages on facebook so i just thought i'll be a bit more entertaining and send you a quick video and then i just go on to explain that they have got a great facebook presence a great instagram presence but they have not got the facebook pixel installed i explain what the pixel is i explain what it does and then i show them our portfolio of results that they can expect to get if they install the facebook pixel i do not say if they work with us or anything like that i just explain them what they can do if they've got the facebook pixel i show them obviously it's an indirect promo of my company you know i show them what they can do if they have the facebook pixel installed correctly i show them results that they can get and then say if you've got any more um questions for me please and i hesitate to ask and then if they watch the loom which you get a notification of if they watch the loom then you know i reply saying i saw you watch the loom um i've seen you've you've looked at it you know is there any any type of uh questions that you've got is there anything else i can help you with or you know would you like to hop on a call to discuss this further and then you know you start pitching your service anyway so like i said guys just copy and paste this message uh where we go facebook send message boom and you are done and i literally do that for 10 20 companies a day okay so that is method number one method number two obviously you know you do every single tab that you've opened that is nothing uh again no facebook pixel they have got facebook click on the facebook page send message copy and paste and so on and so forth another method that you can do is by just finding e-commerce clients through google so what you can do is you can type in anything like um t t t shops um uk the reason why i do uk is so i know it's english speaking companies uk us whatever and um, if i don't type that in because i'm in the netherlands i get a lot of dutch tea companies and um, I just tend to prefer to work with um, English speaking businesses. Okay, and then from here, obviously, the first page is going to be full with very big companies that have more often than not, they've already got someone doing their social media. So I like to go to page 10, start here, and then just open every single one in a new tab. I've already seen a few slightly bigger companies there, so I'll go a bit further. All right, that'll do for now. Lipton obviously has got the Facebook Pixel installed. If for those that don't know what that is, that is the Facebook Pixel Helper. Um, it's a plugin for Chrome. You know, it's free to install, and then you can see who's got the Facebook Pixel and who hasn't. Um, Canton World's Finest T has not got a Facebook Pixel, so we will be contacting them through Facebook. Canton T has almost 4,000 people on their Facebook page, but they have not got the Facebook Pixel. Boom, send them a message as well. Roaches, tearooms.co.uk has not got a Facebook pixel. To be honest, that doesn't look, look like a web shop anyway, so get rid of that one. Tea House Theatre. No Facebook pixel. I'm guessing that is like a local tea house, so we'll probably just leave that one out. Camden Tea Shop. No Facebook pixel. It is a web shop. You can buy some Facebook page. Send message. And boom. So guys, that is how we've been reaching out to e-commerce clients. And like I said, you know, we have been getting quite a lot of replies, but at the end of the day, it is a numbers game. So if you reach out to five or 10, uh, companies a day you know and you're not getting replies right away you know don't get disheartened just keep going keep at it you know keep that consistent uh of consistency of outreach you know going every single day 
constantly reach out, constantly keep that pipeline full, follow up with companies also that have you know haven't replied in like like two days or anything like that. And um, that is another important tip as well. Just follow up, just say, hey, you know, any updates in the situation, anything else I can help you with, you know, just keep that relationship going, keep, you know, keep just constantly keep in contact with all these companies and you will land your clients. Now, if you want to know like the specific scripts I use for getting on uh, getting on the call and stuff like that, you know, I have actually got my own uh, online course, which is called Lifestyle Design Mastery, which I, you know, I don't only teach like social media marketing, it does get discussed in depth and detail, but there's so much more to this course. I actually show you all their online business models and you can basically just pick one that fits your lifestyle best. I show you how to build an online personal brand, how to master sales, how to master the Facebook ads, how to master e-commerce, how to just basically earn money online and live life on your own terms. I will leave that linked in the description box down below as well. Anyway, guys, that is all I've got for today. Le leave a comment down below uh, with your methods of outreach if you do e-commerce as well. Just let me know, you know, is there any other ways of outreach that you guys do? You know, so people that are new to this, you know, can see in the comments uh, all, the, all the methods of outreach and also, you know, um, improve their chances of getting their first client. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.